And welcome back everyone to more Fruit of Versailles. In the last episode, we ended up talking with the principal about the various girls who go to the school and our basic rough interpretations of their personalities. Turns out most of them are pretty on the mark. And with that, let's continue on. In the field, interpersonal relationships resemble the interlocking of pieces in a puzzle. In order to form a coherent larger picture, the players fix every piece into its place. I move according to their instructions, take the position they designate for me, and carry out the tasks they assign to me. In many cases, the players prepare a number of spare pieces as insurance against the unexpected. The pieces in question realize that they're expendable, and are prepared for the possibility that they may be used as sacrifices. I always hated wait watching as people were sent to their deaths, but I also understood the rules of the game we were playing. Pawns aren't allowed to move on their own selfish impulses. The first priority is always to win. It's probably because I've spent so long in that sort of world, but friendship has become mostly a theoretical concept for me. The world rings a little hollow in my ears. Not to say that I'm skeptical of its existence, but to me it seems almost like something out of a magic show. Show me two people swearing, we'll be friends forever, and I see some TV psychic bending a spoon. Makes me want to pull back that curtain they've set up around their feelings and see what's really going on in there. How the trick really works. As usual, Machu is gulping down that bitter soft drink to maintain her vitamin C intake. If she's that determined to keep up this absurd daily dose, wouldn't taking supplements be more efficient? There are pills that contain daily supplies of a wide range of vitamins. The idea would be to get everything you need from your meals, but that would involve eating buckets of vegetables daily, which is easy to keep up. It's not a great idea to become completely dependent on pills for your nutrients, but I don't think there's any problem with using them to complement your diet. It's a deadly mature. <laughs> Why don't you just take supplements? If you want to keep up your regular vitamin C intake, but don't like sour things, wouldn't it be easier just to take a multivitamin tablet? Okay, cut the hmm, maggot. I'm asking you a question. Why do you torture yourself by drinking this stuff when there's an alternative? Almost certainly the water. You're saying that your body is composed of dry sand? No rice goddess, huh? Interesting. I get the feeling you'd end up in an infinite loop if I let you keep going here. I'm fairly certain you just made all that up. いやいや、別にそういう話をしてるわけじゃないんだけどね。ところでね、ミチルが酸っぱいものを求めているということで、こんなものを用意しました。じゃじゃーん。だな。Amana takes out an airtight plastic bag filled with powder, although I didn't have her down as a drug trafficker. This is pretty suspicious any way you look at it. What's that? Heroin? Maybe. そう、そう、ヘロイン、ヘロイン。容量乗せて下から泣いたで炙ります。うん、she's
<laughs> what the hell's going on? This game got weird. That's saying something for this game. Damn, I was just gonna ask that. That was my second guess. ちょっと Hmm. Still, you've had this chance to challenge the sourest of the sour dropped in your lap. Might as well give it a shot. This'll be good. <coughs> Levito, eh? Alright, you don't have to try it. I'll have a go instead. Sour things tend to be good for you, after all. Well, except when the taste just results in me going rotten. Then it's not good for you. Amane, you didn't grind up spoiled meat to make this, right? Then I'll try. No, you're not going to. Then I'll try. Sit tight and watch, Amana. You understand, Machiro? If you're not going to take this, I will. Here goes. Machio rudely snatches the plastic bag out of my hands and pulls off the twist tie that was sealing his shut. This is my A. Try too hard to play the Sundere and you'll end up as nothing more than a predictable contrarian. Machio pours the stuff from the bag into her mouth, gulping it all down as though it were antacid power. Oh, she's gonna regret this. Here you go. I passed Mature the 100% vitamin C drink she'd been working on earlier. You need to specify in more detail next time. You said any drink at all. This was the closest thing at hand. If she gets any more bitter, her, t her face is going to collapse in on itself and form a little black hole. That's a thing, right? Ah, 
うん酸っぱかった何度も言いますけどね酸っぱいものが好きなわけじゃないんですよそのビタミンを摂取したいだけなんですよ I see. I have no idea why you're so stubborn about not using supplements. But if that's your way of doing things, I'll keep my opinions to myself. Ah, I'm so sorry. 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 I'm so Foods to avoid? Um, we're talking about that superstition where certain combinations of dishes supposedly cause some terrible side effect. It's mostly just a bunch of old wives' tales. So, that's it? I'm not sure if 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 I'm not sure Hmm, sour stuff. I guess they clash with salty things, so the bad combinations would probably be stuff like eel or pickled plums. Possibly you'd get pretty severe indigestion. That's when you take Pepto-Bismol. This fruit of Poseidon brought to you by Pepto-Bismol. Learning from the wisdom of the ancients is all well and good, but I wouldn't get too hung up on myths like that. Even that famous legend about durian fruit and alcohol causing some fatal reaction turned out to be a lot of crap. But why are you asking me in the first place? Planning to start cooking? So, so spicy girl. Okay. Spicy girl. Ah, oh, makina. I've, I've come to like Makina in recent episodes. She's become kind of foul mouthed and funny. やっぱりチルチルは電波を受信したり宇宙と交信したりしてるのよさ。そんなことしてるか。食べ合わせそんなに気になる？気にしてたから聞いたんじゃないの？気にしてたから聞いたんじゃないの？気にしてたから聞い
その言い方失礼しちゃうわねミチル様冷静になったのでその現実を見ているサシ,サシ seems to be more the mediator of the group ないえサチチルチルはお友達がいないからちゃんと作った方がいいのよさな私のことをどう思って接してるの哀れみ。もう、まあ、まあ、まあ、そこまでじゃないけど。<笑>まあ、そういう感じ。Not to worry, Michiru. You can always make friends inside your head. They'll never reject you. Unless, you know, you have some sort of weird psychological condition. The truth reaction to my attempt at a joke isn't quite what I expected. She's staring wide eyed at me, waiting on tenter hooks for more details. I take a deep breath and politely begin to explain. <sighs> well, the most common term would be imaginary friend. It's a fictional companion that lives solely in your imagination. Pretty typical in childhood, I suppose. Some people only make one, some people dream up whole cast of characters. Although they'll usually drop the idea as they grow up, I've heard some people keep their imaginary friends around even into adulthood. Imaginary friend. Although Machiru listened carefully to my every word, it doesn't seem to have been what she was looking for. Her shoulders sag in disappointment. I guess some people have long conversations with their dolls or stuffed animals instead. ミチルは空想とか好きそうだもんねえそんなことないわよ私はいつだって現実を見据えて生きているのよビシビシ That a fact So what's reality the way you see it? 私にとっての現実急に難しいこと言うのねちょっと待ちなさいよ Michiru folds her arms and closes her eyes. After a long moment of thought, she stands up straight and delivers her answer. Judging from her dramatic delivery, Michiru must have thought this was a really impressive line. Sadly, her audience is less than responsive. There's a moment of awkward silence. <sighs> ここにいなかったら現実じゃないのよチルチルは考えすぎて一周回って当たり前のことを言ってしまったのよそうねミチルには難しい質問だったかもしれないわねミチル様わからないときはわからないと言ってくださいねそうすれば風見さんも最初から質問しないはずですちゃんと頭数から外していただけるはずです。ミチル様は頭数にない。Man, she's just getting picked on today. No one's pulling punches today. ちょ、ちょっと、なんでみんなして人のことちょっとかわいそうな子扱いするのよ。今の答え完璧じゃない。むしろ哲学的でさえあるじゃない。It was borderline metaphysical in the sense that her answer was really no answer at all. Can you define metaphysical? Atarimayo, Oshinasai! Hirakina or speed of a yuri hayakunata! You disappointed me. I'm making a note not to expect anything from you in the future. Not that I had been previously, but I clearly need you to lower my forecast even further. From this moment forward, I'll be formally handling you as an authentic, officially certified idiot. Don't star. Okay. Go on. Deva, Hanasio Kate, Yuji, Kimi no Tomoda Chite, Amari Sozo, the Kinaka, that's opening up a bag of worms I don't want to get into right now. As a kid, my friends, eh? Hmm. The word brings to mind a young girl I met under some very unusual circumstances. 
Our relationship was basically about helping each other stay alive, but I guess you could have called it a sort of friendship. Then again, after a while, she disappeared from that place, and I was left to find for myself again. Tricky question. I'm not the most socially gifted person around. So? I'm drawing a blank on the concept of friends, so I decided to mentally substitute the term buddies. I think I can provide more concrete answers about the teammates I've known on the field. Well, I'll pass on anyone who holds me back. The useless ones don't have any right to complain if they end up getting shot in the back. Just a figure of speech, really. Nobody's actually going to shoot an ally, but you should try to learn who you can count on to watch your back, and who you can't expect anything from, and how to deal with the latter. Precisely, Sachi. Anyway, I like people who are easy to work with. I guess that's really the only thing I'm looking for, to be honest. As long as they don't get in my way, I'm not going to complain. Maybe. Sometimes I think tools make better partners than human beings. They have a clear purpose, you know? Makes them a lot simpler to deal with. I didn't mean to apply that. I'm just saying that tools tend to be reliable. Once you've used a piece of machinery enough, it practically becomes a part of you. A simple extension of your body that does what you need, when you need it. The more affection you give to a tool, the more smoothly it operates. The tool won't betray you. Not often, at least. It's okay, Maki, not many things lose you. Sorry, I got a bit off track there. And to put it more simply, I don't think I've ever really had someone you could call a best friend. I agree completely. We've been discussing friendship for a while now. Not that the concept has gotten any clearer for me. But at this point, I realize that one person has stopped participating in the conversation. Who is that one person? Well, we're going to find out next time on The Fruit of Grisaya. So take it easy, everybody.